Ms. Richardson, you say you were in an exclusive relationship with Mr. Smith and even tried to have a baby together. But after you conceived your daughter, Kalani, Mr. Smith started denying your baby. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You intend to prove he is the father today. Mr. Smith, while you admit to having a relationship with Ms. Richardson, you say you were not in town during the window of conception and claim to know who the father is. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Richardson, you say Mr. Smith begged you to have a baby with him? Yes, Your Honor. Um, around the time we were together for about eight months, he had told me he was in a situation where he didn't know if he were going to live a long time, so he had said he wanted a child with me. Me being young and dumb and I was actually in love with him, I agreed on it. Um, around October 31st, um, we were together. I had um, left Job Corps, which he was still in. I left on the 28th. On the 31st, I had sent for him to come in town for the weekend, so, you know, we can go home on weekends. That day we did have sex, and that's whenever my daughter was conceived. I called him immediately and let him know that I was pregnant. From there on, we start going to appointments together. So, wait a minute. You say he begged you to have the baby. Yes, he, he wanted to leave a piece of himself behind, he said. And, Mr. Smith, you wanted to leave a piece of yourself behind. Where did you think you were going? Uh, what was happening in your mind? I was, wasn't really thinking. Well, she was like, no. she have baby fever. No, no, no. And I was That's like... Not at all. I did not wow. have baby fever. She, I was only 19 was years old. She was talking to me the whole time on the bus talk saying, oh, she got baby fever. That was actually him. And I basically was like, well, if we, we both agree we want to have a baby, we can have a baby, you know? Like, we could, you know, start trying to have one. And but what? I don't know. Just the thought of it, I guess. I, I don't... He actually wanted to have a child. Once we didn't conceive in June That's and July, lot. I told him that we weren't financially stable and I wanted to wait That's until we're further in our relationship. How long and... were you all together at this point? We were together for eight months when he, when he first started, but I've known him for a good bit of years. Ms. Richardson, I can't let you go any further unless I just have a moment with you. Okay. Baby... You cannot have babies by everybody you feel like you fall in love with. I can see... We about three minutes in, and I can see that you decided you had fallen in love with him, and from there on, everything you heard come out his mouth, everything you saw was through the lens of love that you had created. Because he stood right here, and the second thing out of his mouth was, I really wouldn't have, wasn't trying to be with her that long, but if we wanted to have a baby and she wanted to do it, okay. Everything is so nonchalant. Which was a lie. Which is a lie. He definitely wanted to be with me. It's been times we've broken up, and he has came back to me saying he wanted to be with me. He stayed with me for a year. Did he marry you? No. Okay. Oh. So, let me, let me explain what being with you means and what being with you means. Now, this is just woman to woman. You've got to be able to decide and be able to know the difference between being his comfort and his convenience and being the commitment. What I'm hearing now is, yeah, he might come back and forth and back and forth. That's because you let him. Yes, he wants to be with you in the bed. You understand? That does not mean he's going to stick around for a relationship or for the child. Let's fast forward to the point where you tell him you're pregnant. What is his reaction? Now, you say he wanted this baby. What was his reaction? He was quiet on the phone, and he had asked to see the, um, the pregnancy test. And so, Mr. Smith, when you got this news that she was pregnant, was the, it the news you wanted to hear? Were you excited about having a baby, or what were you feeling? I actually was excited. Um, you, was, you were excited? Yes, ma'am. At what point do you feel doubtful, then? Um... I was doubtful at the first. You were? Yes, when I was. Well, why? You all had been planning for this. I thought she probably found somebody else outside of Job Corps or, the, you know, probably got old I called him every flames. day. He called me every day. I worked from 2 in the p.m. to 11 at night. So, there was no time I could cheat at all. I called him each time. Mr. Smith disagrees. He's shaking his head when you we testify. We were with each other almost every weekend. Every time I went home, he went home. What part of that story do you disagree with, Mr. Smith? The date. I don't remember coming home that day. Whenever he'd be mad at me, he'd be like, that's not my baby. So, by that time, I was like, you know what? I just don't want nothing to do with you. It's not your child. It's mine. That's a lie. It is. All I right. Told you so, I want to hear from your witness, Mr. Smith, because I, I want to understand 
Where this doubt stems from, and I want to see if they can provide the court with some answers. Please stand, ma'am. Step up to the podium. And state your name for the court. Brianna Smith. Miss Smith, you are Mr. Smith's... Twin sister. Twin sister. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what you know. She, you know, when we were cool with each other, um, you know, she would confide in me about my brother. Um, and I do know that they were planning to get, have a baby or whatever. And, you know, when she did tell him about it, he was excited about it to a certain extent. Um, at first he didn't... So he was know. excited? Yeah. And you remember this? Yeah, I remember. Okay, go ahead. At first he didn't... He didn't tell me that he had any doubt about anything. It just, you know, progressed, um, I guess, with him even more when the pregnancy got further along and she, you know, her attitude is very, very vicious. She would say stuff um, that would, you know, make him even, make him feel even more like Kalani's not his daughter. I would hear voicemails. I would see messages. And what did these voicemails that. say? And what did these messages say? Um, she was upset at him. She just was saying how Kalani was sitting. She was with another dude and she was smiling and she was happy about the person um, basically insinuating. Yeah. Look just like her. They do not look nothing alike except the yes, skin color. You think he looks like her too? Like actually... Him. Looks, looks just, just like him. They do when not, I seen the, when they I do seen not the video, look anything alike. I have alike. evidence I would like to show. I'd like to see that. Okay. What is this evidence, Ms. What Smith? What this picture is, it's a picture of Kalani and it's a picture of me when I was four months old. Um, and with Bobby, me and him being twins, I feel like she should look like me to a certain extent. Um... And, you know, she has the big eyes. I'll give her that. Just like her mother. But as far as the, the lips and the things of that nature, I just don't see it. Um, and honestly, I'm going to be truthful here. At first, I did think that Kalani was Bobby's. But after seeing all of these messages and seeing how she acts and all the things that she say, it is hard to believe. And then with the video, I never seen the dude um, in person. This is the same dude that she posted on her Facebook as her man crush Monday. I would never allow no dude to, to do that, period. You no, doing no, stuff out of spite to make him upset. This is a still of the video you submitted. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Definitely. That is her godfather. And if, if you, he you choose to kiss her on the forehead, if, if that's choose, not the lips you, on the if, forehead. If you can read, she can if do you can that. see the video, ma'am, if you can see the video, honestly, your opinion of a godfather, that's not it. You know what I mean? I've never seen somebody. Well, I look, look. Look, I get it. And, and Ms. Richardson, this is what's difficult because as a woman, I do want you to understand, and I have to say this a lot in this courtroom because it is true and it never changes and it will never change. Once you ring that bell and say this isn't your baby, you ain't never getting that bell back. That bell has rung, rung. It, it, it's vibrating. You hearing the echo of it. It will not stop. So this gentleman, I want to stop right here because I want to hear from him because he's in court today. Jerome. That's his daughter. Will you please escort Mr. Brock into the courtroom? Yes. Take a step this way. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> with me. I'm going to go right up next to the judge on the witness stand. Mr. Brock. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for joining us today. Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to know, what is your relationship exactly with Ms. Richardson? I would, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I would die for Brianna. And I'll take my last breath for that little girl up on the screen right there. And that's my goddaughter. And it's just because I've built that relationship with him that quick. We've told each other things that I have told nobody else. We've been through things that I have told nobody else. We've been through some, some bad times. Even in just the eight, like people are focused on the eight months that we've known each other. Oh, God, this months. is so exhausting. So, you all like... are all just kids. <laughs> exactly. And everything is so exactly. intense. It's like I'm thinking about a baby. You Have you ever seen a baby the first time they taste the food and it's yeah. just so... And you can just get inside of them and see how good that flavor is to them because it's new. And it's everything you all feel is so intense. And 30 years from now, y'all going to be talking about, you remember Brianna? Where is she? I mean, <laughs> and it troubles me because what I see is a pattern pattern with each of you where you are establishing these intense emotions, feelings, and connections, and yet you don't have the maturity to recognize the complicated familial connections that are now formed 
unformed and affected because of the way you all are conducting yourselves in these relationships. Do you follow me? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. And the last I heard, the parents choose the God parents together. And that's another fact we don't have on track because you all ain't on track because you're kids. It's all messy. You're not ready for all of this. You're not ready for it emotionally. You're not ready for it at all. This is hard enough on adults. Okay, I want to hear from your next witness. Ma'am, will you please stand? I'd like to hear from you. Um, my name is Darlene Bagley. And I'm um, the twins' uh, mother. Bobby oh, thank Clark. you for joining us, Miss Bagley. Mm-hmm. So, I've been trying to talk to these young people, Miss Bagley. Yes. <laughs> They've gotten themselves in a situation. Yes. What do you know about this? Do you believe Kalani is your granddaughter? Yes, I do. You do. They always did have problems. They always did, but I stayed neutral, you know, because I didn't want to get in between you know, not seeing her because I'm on my son's side. But once this video came out, that's when my everything in me changed. He was holding the baby and kissing on her. I'm like, I don't even know this guy. Do my son know this guy? If you're a godfather, why we don't know you? Where did you come from? Every time he gets mad, he says, oh, that's not my daughter. Oh, that's not my daughter. Um, I'm not going to put my all into her because I don't know if that's my daughter. He has plenty of times to get a DNA test. He's on child support. He had a point, a time to get a DNA test, but he didn't want to because at first he doesn't want Kalani to grow up that she, he got a DNA test on. Then it's, oh, I don't want to spend my shopping money. Well, see, then that's another problem that you're too young to understand. Right. Because if you have a doubt... You get the DNA test. It's not about when the child grows up, you don't want her to know that you got a DNA test on her. That's the problem today. Everybody tells all their business all the time. Mm. So where do we go from here? You now believe, you have doubts, Ms. Bagley, even though you say you believe she's yours or, you, or do you hope she's your grandchild? I hope and pray. I really do. I really do. Okay, well. And why does it make you so emotional? You've, you've grown attached to her? I lost a son five years ago, and he didn't leave any kids behind. So I think Bobby probably thought that he was going to die young, and that maybe that's why he had the baby. I don't know, but I'm hoping she is. She's a beautiful baby. She's a good baby, and I'm looking... If, if she is, I'm looking for it to spend the time with her. <laughs> Listen, you all have all been through a lot, and because of that, you all are taking actions, like I said, that really don't... They don't support Kalani. And in this moment, let's all just refocus as we go forward to these results on who and what is most important. Right. And that's her. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Good. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Richardson versus Smith, pertaining to whether Mr. Brock or Mr. Smith is the father of eight-month-old Kalani Smith, In the case of Richardson versus Smith, pertaining to whether Mr. Brock or Mr. Smith is the father of eight-month-old Kalani Smith, it has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Smith. Now we have the result. We know the truth. Where do we go from here, family? People that know I'm her father now, so, you know. And listen, how will people know? Let's let's, let's grow up in this moment right before we go. How will they know? We're not talking about no Facebook posts. We're talking about some face-to-face child rearing, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. Right. 
Loving a child is oftentimes about sacrificing yourself, Mm -hmm. your own feelings, right? And maybe you all need to take advantage of this counseling and these resources we have for you all and sit down and hammer this out. Mr. Fields, you state you are here for the sake of your one-year-old son. Yes, Your Honor. You claim the defendant has lied to you, cheated on you, and even told you herself that you are not the child's father. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Nicholson, you deny being unfaithful and say Mr. Fields is the one who has cheated and you can prove it. Yes, Your Honor. Furthermore, you say you're furious you have to prove paternity to him. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Fields, what exactly has Ms. Nicholson done to make you doubt paternity? Well, Your Honor, Sharice is a liar. The reason why I'm saying this is because Sharice gets off of work at 5 o'clock in the morning and she doesn't come home until 9 o'clock. Not to mention, not to mention that I found numerous amount of panties in her vehicle. Excuse me. Along, Your Honor. Uh, along, along with an overnight bag. Your Honor. If you have an overnight bag and we live together, why do you have an overnight bag, Sharice? Excuse me. Your Honor. Tyrell's the one who's the liar. He's the one who's the cheater. He sends me videos. Um, pictures, I've seen text messages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. There's proof that he's cheating. I also have a video stating that Okay, okay, Your Honor. And I've told her everything. I've told her even before I've done such a thing. Excuse me. This relationship is at rock bottom. You're a liar, you're a cheater. I have proof that you're doing so. So, I mean... What proof do you have? I have a video showing that he's having sexual conduct with this lady. Your Honor, Your Honor. May I show you? Uh, you submitted this video to the court. Yes. I had to block out some things, of course, but... Y- Your Honor, Your Honor, I'm going to tell you how much of a dishonest person Excuse she me. is. Excuse me, he's All in right. a public bathroom. Just... First, I'd like to see her evidence. You've submitted a video to the court. Yes. Let's take a look at that evidence. <laughs> but I'm the one who's cheating. Your Honor. But I'm Your... the one who's cheating. Your Honor, it... That's a video you got from where? He sent it to my phone about two weeks ago. He sent it to your phone about two weeks ago, Your Honor. Why would you send that video to her phone? Your Honor, I did it out of anger, and I told her that I was going to cheat because she said she was going to cheat. Your Honor, just this morning, just this morning before we got here hours ago, she told me that she slept with another man, and she took my son to go see him last week, and that's actually his dad. Excuse me, Your Honor. I did not see... I did not say that. I did not say that this morning. What I said to him was, you keep telling me that he's not your son, he's not your son, so, yeah, I'm gonna let you believe that he's not your son. Your Honor, she told me she was going to fail the lie detector test and she slept with another man. I never told you that. I never told you that, Tyrell. So, listen, this relationship obviously isn't going very well. No. Obviously not. Neither one of you trust the other, but I need you to take me back during the window of conception so I can understand what exactly is going on and why is there an issue surrounding this child's paternity. Mr. Fields, why are you doubtful? The reason why I'm saying this is because I have a calendar to show the conception of his time and the conception that I caught her cheating. You believe the conception dates are off? Yes. Now, to be clear, you all were in a committed relationship during this time? Correct. So you didn't think she was having sex with anyone else, but she was? Yes. And you know that? Yes. How do you know that? Her own cousin even told me she was having sex with another dude, and that dude caught her phone. Excuse me. Was my cousin there to actually see that we were having sex? Your Honor, her cousin knew the guy's name, the car he drove, and everything. He doesn't drive a car. He catches the bus. So that's already a lie. So the guy he's talking about, you know who that guy he's, is? Yeah, he's my coworker. Were you in a sexual relationship no, with I was him? Not. Your, Your Honor, Your no, Honor, I was not. one day I went up to her job. The dude that I believe is that child's father, he did a sexual gesture to her in front of my face, and she pretended like she didn't see it. That's the same dude that called her phone the same night I wanted to pick her up from her, from, her, from her house. Your Honor, how am I supposed to see a gesture if it's behind me? Your Honor... He said he's seen it. They're, if my eyes are forward looking at you, how can I see what's going on behind my back? Your Honor... So you never saw this gesture? I never saw What kind of gesture was it, he did Mr. Fields? He did a thrusting sex gesture. So he was implying that he was having sex with her? Yes, and also, when I spoke to him on the phone, he said blatantly that she was on his top, as she was saying, he would, she wouldn't leave him alone. Excuse me. Every time I came into work, this gentleman spoke to me. We're co-workers. Why aren't we able to speak, around, speak to one another? 
you are just insecure of yourself. Your Honor, Obviously, that's what the, the video just showed. I'm not the one who's cheating, it's you. Your Honor, if you're in a committed relationship, why is this dude calling your phone 11 o'clock at night? It was not 11 o'clock at night. So if you are in a committed relationship, why do you have videos of women twerking on you? I just do it. I just do it, Your Honor. And, and you know what she says? She says, go ahead and do it. I want to see you do it. Send me the video after you're done. Excuse me, why would I want my boyfriend to cheat on me? What sense, what female wants that? Does it make sense? It doesn't. Your Honor, Who she wants says, to be cheated on? She says that out her mouth, along with her sister saying that she's a cheater and that that, that boy is not mine. Your Honor. So now, her family member told you. That's correct, two family members. Her cousin and her sister said that that baby is not mine. Your Honor, what I want to know is, how are you listening to other people when they're not even the ones who were laying, were with me while I was having sex? Yeah. You, I've been with you since I was 16, four years ago, Tyrell. Four years. Yeah. This man took my virginity. I just been with him all my life, really. He's all I know. And if for him to deny my kid, that hurts. It hurts so much. It really does. It hurts so much. And it's, it's just crazy. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I feel like he believes that he, it's his son, but something is telling him to not believe it because his well, why, insecurities why, are telling him not what, to believe well, it. Well, Sharice, why, why, do I, why do I not believe it? Because of yourself. You're insecure. Why am Larity, I insecure? You told me that you were the same way with your ex-girlfriend. Why am I why am I insecure? You're insecure because you think that I'm cheating when you're so, the one who's doing it in reality. So you believe you believe you do nothing to make me believe it. I don't that. do anything. Okay. Anything. What proof do you have? Explain the I clearly got proof of you. Explain the Look hickey. at him. He looks it, just like you. Explain the hickeys on he your neck. He looks just like and the hickeys on I your never chest. had a hickey on my right. neck. Never. You don't even suck on my neck. But yet, I got a hickey. I, it don't, I don't like it, number one. Your Honor, Excuse her coworker... Honor, look at the forehead. Her, her coworker... Same told, hairline. One of her coworkers told me she was giving a man oral sex in the back hallway at her job. Wow. <laughs> Your Honor. Oh, that's a lot of people talking about exactly. her. Exactly. You're getting a lot of information that I haven't even heard of. But you were seen walking in the back hallway with him on camera. When, when was this? What camera? Where is it at? Where's the footage? Since I'm cheating, where is the footage to show the judge? Do you have any evidence of this, Mr. Fields? Yes, I do, but it's currently not here. Therefore, that's not evidence. <laughs> and therefore, that's I irrelevant. cannot hear it. If you're gonna come to court, you gotta be prepared. <laughs> you're making a lot of <laughs> assertions. <laughs> did you bring any evidence? Yes, I did, Your Honor. What do you have, sir? I have a calendar. Jerome, will you please hand me Mr. Fields' evidence? This is a calendar you've prepared. Yes. And this calendar is to outline what exactly? Conception of my son. He was so you claim the estimated conception date is around September 24th, which is outlined in green. That's correct. And then you had this altercation with the coworker on September 27th. Correct. Right after he did this gesture, which implied he was sleeping with your girlfriend. Correct. And then. On October 24th, the doctor confirmed that Ms. Nicholson was four weeks pregnant. Yes. Now, as you count back four weeks, it's right during the week where you believe she was having sex with the coworker. Yes, not to mention we weren't having sex at all at the, around that time. Your Honor, first off, those dates are wrong. The, we went to school together out Job Corps in Pittsburgh. Okay, I found out that I was, we went, we arrived there the 22nd of October. I was told that I was pregnant at, like the 25th of October, okay? Two weeks after that, that's when I had my first doctor's appointment and they told me that I was five weeks. So if you count, by, count back five weeks, that's not, that doesn't even add up. If I was, two weeks after October 25th is what? The second week of November, am I correct? Count back five weeks, it's still October. Yes. What's, how, where are you getting these dates from? That's what I want to know. Either way, we weren't having where sex. Where you getting, Tyrell, we never used protection. Either way, we weren't having never sex Never used protection. We never used protection, explain, so I don't understand. Explain and so to me. were you intimate with Ms. Nicholson in October? No. <laughs> oh, my God. Your Honor, oh I, my God. Your Honor, I didn't even want to have sex with her. She had to be. Your Honor, me. sorry. We had 
sexual relations she every had, day. She had to Every me. day. Yep. Without protection. Without protection. Yep. For you to sit up here and deny my baby, that makes no sense. Yana, because you know. Yana, she never had used to, the condom. It wasn't on birth control. Yana, she had to beg me. She said, if I don't give it to her, she'll get it elsewhere. Oh. What sense does that make? What sense does that make? Oh. I'm not pressed for it. You are clearly, clearly that's what the video showed. Clearly. So, at the point you find out you're pregnant, you tell Mr. Fields. I was there. When she found out. Yes. At that time, did you have a doubt? At that time, I was excited, but then I started thinking about overall what just went on, what happened previous to that, and I started having doubts. But not to mention, I've been there since the whole nine months. I take care of my son. I do everything Your Honor, for him. If he has he... doubting my kid. What sense? You're providing for him. Why are you providing for a I, child that you don't think is yours? I told you that I'm going to provide for my son until I'm proven otherwise. All right. Yeah, 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 Your Honor, not to mention that I wasn't even invited to the baby shower. You, you were not. You were not able... I asked you to come. My mom did not want you to come, coming because none of my family likes you. And you allowed And that? you know it. You and, know it. And you have been together for four years. They've disliked you since the second year of us and being you, together. And you allowed that. And you know it. Allow what? It ain't my fault they don't like you. It's because of yourself. Okay. It's because of yourself. So, Mr. Fields... When you didn't get an invitation to the baby shower and you already were doubtful, that made you feel... That just added the icing on the cake for me. It added fuel to the fire. Your yes. Honor, he even told me that he didn't want to come due to my mother. That's false. Your Honor, the baby shower at that point didn't matter because I had already had my own baby shower out of my own pocket. I buy everything for him. He has all the drawers. Every release he has, I buy everything for him, his clothes. Before she was, before, when I first found out she was pregnant, I went right out, got a whole bunch of clothes for him, everything. I was there for the whole nine months. I was paying the rent. I was there providing for you and him. That's correct. But yet you brought me here because you're denying the baby. So why provide for a child that you, you don't think You told me yours? multiple times that he... You named him. You told me multiple You're denying times. him, but you named him. You he told... has your middle name and last name. Would I name a child after him if he's not his? You told me multiple times that he's not mine. What do you expect for me to believe? I tell you this, because you want to believe that he's not yours, I'm going to also make you believe he's not yours until you get yeah. proven otherwise. Yeah, All right, so this is the part right here, because, yeah. As the man says he has doubts, as you get angrier and angrier, you begin to tell him, well, if you don't think the baby is yours, then I'll just tell you the baby's not yours. And you do understand, Ms. Nicholson, that's just making a bad situation worse. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> what you're giving him is you know, something to hang his hat on. I mean, literally. And that's unfortunate. Not just for you two, because you're going tit for tat and back and forth and can't get along, but for the child. How many times have you said to him, this isn't your child then? It only had to be about twice. That's a lie, Your Honor. Is there proof? How many times has she said that? I can't even count on my fingers. Is there proof? Your Honor, if so, if a girl tells you that he's not your son and you, she went to go take him to see another man, then what is that going to make you believe? She took your son to see another man. That's what your she Honor. told me hours before we got That's here. nowhere near true. Nowhere near true. So you didn't say that to him? No. What did you say? I told him that it wasn't his. I didn't take him to see no other person. But did no you tell father. him you did? Yeah, I told him. Okay. We were right... And we did were you arguing. tell him that another man was his father? Yes. Okay. But it's quite clear and that she he told is. me that she's gonna she failed a lot of her tests and she slept with other people as well. Number one, the lot of her tests. I clearly passed. I clearly passed. You wanted it. I took it. Wow. I just don't want this anymore. So once you get proven otherwise, just see yourself out my house. <laughs> Your Honor, it's not gonna change the fact that she is controlling. I'm I've had controlling. To, I've had to take her to court to get custody for my son I'm because she's kept him away have, from me. We both have had custody. We went together. Be because I had if to take her down like... there. Not to mention she has an, an open court for you for a custody violation because you refused to give me my son. You're saying he's your son, but when we get here, it's something else. <laughs> but I also told you he's my son until I'm proven otherwise. Okay. All right, I think it's time for the results.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Fields versus Nicholson, when it comes to one year old Kazir Fields, Mr. Fields, you are his father. How do you feel now, Mr. Fields? I feel awesome. I feel great. It's not going to change anything. I'm still going to continue to be there. I'm still going to be the best father to him that I can be. You always knew this. Well, this could have gone a completely different way. But luckily, and I am thankful, as immature as both of you are, I am so thankful you were smart enough to find your way to this courtroom, to paternity court, so you can just get the answers. <laughs> Watching you two argue, if I didn't know you were dating, I mean, sometimes it literally sounds like brother and sister. I mean, it's like, this is kids having kids. This two young people trying to figure their own way out into adulthood and now responsible for raising a young man. You guys got a lot of work to do. But the immaturity is clouding your judgment and your ability to co-parent and to focus on what's important. I need you to work on that, and I'm serious. <laughs> because ultimately, there's an innocent child out here that needs you two to grow up. Ms. Chandler, you and your boyfriend, Mr. Hilliard, are suing his sister and mother for defamation of character. You claim they are spreading malicious rumors regarding the paternity of your son, Brandon Jr. You are seeking the results of a paternity test to prove that your baby is indeed Mr. Hilliard's son. You are asking the court for damages in the amount of $500. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Jackson, you and your mother state that you have evidence that will definitively show Brandon Jr.'s not your brother's child. Today, you are here to prove Ms. Chandler's case against you is without merit and that your brother has been manipulated and deceived. Now, usually I would start with the plaintiff, but I have got to ask the defendant in this situation, what do you know about Ms. Chandler? Annie has always, like, gone to the racetrack and... She talks to guys on Facebook, texting guys, and she has a lock on her cell phone to where my brother can't see her phone. She's cheated on my brother. He stayed at my house with his kids. Now, and what proof do you have of that? She's admitted it to me. No, I have not. You slept with that guy at your house. You left Brandon and the kids at we my house. We were not together. We were not okay. together. Okay. Who's this guy you're claiming that Ms. Chandler slept with? a friend of a friend that I know of, and she started talking to him. And next no, thing I know, we she were tells talking, me... talking, and it was after me and Brandon broke up that I started talking to him. And yes, I slept with him one time. But Brandon still while had... We were, while we were broken up. So that should not even be brought up. Well, Brandon still was thinking that you and guys you were getting back together. you should not be talking about me sleeping around. Um, what I do with my life is my business. Three babies, three baby daddies. I got three babies with the same man. Okay, we'll see if that's true, won't we? We will. Yep. Any other specifics for me? A guy that she lived next door to, she started dating him when my brother went to California with his sick son. He broke up with me and I dated him for three days. You seem really into what's going on with them. It's my what? little brother. What, I... What's it to you, really? I mean, he is his own man. He's might have made his own choices. It's my brother. You know, she's from day one. I've seen that she's used him. She holds those kids over his head all the time. She says, well, if you don't pay me this much, you're not seeing your kids. I worked since the first day that me and Brandon got together. I worked. I was independent. That's and what why, are you doing now? That's why I'm working. OK, that's why job. you're going to quit your job and take job. his money every month, I right? Job. That's why you and your mama not decided that I was a bad person because and I And I don't even know Brandon, why you're over there talking in I the first place. I took Brandon away, and I'm independent, and I took care of All him for four years. All you do is give it to her. For four years. 
It's what you've done for four years. Four you years, give in to her. I took care of him. No. And he yeah, you did. Me. What have you done to us? To our family? He chose his family, me and his kids. And your mother, your father, your I'm brothers, sorry, my family sisters. have been more to a family to him than you guys have. Excuse my me? My dad. My family took him in whenever you guys turned your backs on him because he chose we me. We didn't turn our back when on he chose him. Me. He turned his when back on me. us. Okay. Because oh, he of you. He Ms. chose Hilliard. me and his kids. I'm sorry, Kathy. Ms. Hilliard, step to the podium if you'd like to add something to this. He man. chose me and his kids. What would you That's like to say, Ms. Hilliard? Do you feel That's like your man. son chose Ms. Chandler over you? Yes, I do. I feel that we were robbed. You guys have always been able to come around. No. You chose not to. You guys can come around, but you didn't want to. You're the one that told me whenever I, I don't need a family, I have a family. That's right. Yeah. Because you turned your back on me, attacking me, coming to my house, to, trying to, like, take then my stepson. Then why don't you keep that tater trap of yours shut? Uh, I'm sorry, but whenever you got something to say to me, I'll come ten times worse. Do you uh, feel no. like they've kept your grandchildren from you, too? Yes, I do. I have always asked you to come over and see your grandkids. You said those aren't my grandkids. I haven't told you that. Okay. You That's told why me you that. called him a a punk. You told me that he'll never be a part of you, even if this test comes back, that it's your grandson, right? I never uh, said that. You and Gina. Uh, you and no. Gina. Yeah. No, yeah. I have told you yeah, that when I it would still be his aunt, Brandon, whether it was his no. or not. Let's have some uh, order in the court, because I'm trying to understand this situation. It seems like everybody is very emotional, and this has hurt all of you. I don't want my kids to do without their grandparents or their family. Mr. Hilliard, I have to ask you, okay. did you ever have any doubts? I did. The reason why was after the first time we had sex. Like... I don't understand. How can you, like, know that you're pregnant 24 hours after? Okay, I know it's yeah, weird. Uh, tell me that. Uh, I know it's weird, but I knew I was pregnant. And right, I was right. I knew that it was a and boy. So 24 and I knew both of my kids hours were... after you guys were together, you look at him and say, Honey, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Actually, yeah. it wasn't but even how does somebody who's a virgin can sit here and it say she knew she was pregnant? I was a virgin. Me and Brandon, our first time was February 9th. 2009, I know the date. When I, at, right after oh, no. we had sex, I knew I was pregnant. So, I don't know how. Mr. Hillier, when she said that to you, what were you thinking? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's I that possible? I you to be honest, <laughs> and you were, okay? <laughs> how's but that possible? I did, I did <laughs> tell him that I was pregnant. No, she waited, she waited until he was in California with his sick son to call and say that she's pregnant mysteriously. I didn't want to tell him until I had proof. Why do they have so because much suspicion about is, you? Their problem is I took him away from them. I was a woman and I took care of my man. That's so not my problem. That's you problem. can have Brennan. I took Honestly, care of him. you can. He did not need them no more. Let me clarify. You are his sister, right? Right. Uh -huh. Okay, I want to understand from you. Why is it so bad that he, your brother is dating Miss Chandler? What is it? Because I'm a real woman. Oh. I know how to satisfy and take care of my anything. man. I'm sorry, you can't do it. That's why you just oh. recently slept with his best friend, huh? Uh, first off, we're broken up. Second off, whatever I do while we're broken up is none of your business, so you need so to stay out of it. don't call me telling me about why guys you, you're sleeping why with. Why don't you pay attention to your own? Mine. I'm sorry. Uh, that was a mouthful. Mr. Hillier, <laughs> did you believe that she slept with your best friend? Oh, no, I didn't. No. Oh. Well, you wow. won't that, was, that was only a couple weeks ago. We're broken up. That was recently. You will do a lot of breaking up. <laughs> when because are you all together? together? Because of then, bother. this drama? When, when, when are you together? together? You do a this lot drama. drama. You and him this broke drama. up because of you. This drama. Not because Split of me. Apart. Because four years of this. Oh, How can you be oh, with oh, somebody? Oh. But yeah. Let's use proper language for the court. I know you're upset. But four years mm -hmm. of this split us apart because we can't no. even go a day without arguing about them.
I cannot be with them and be a part of them. I want they have hurt me way too you, much. And I want you to look try. at me and tell I me try. right now. No, you ain't. Why do you think they dislike you so much? Because I'm a woman and I took care of him. I took him away from them. Is how they see what, it. What, are you his mommy too? Uh, uh, I was a bet. I could probably be a better mom than you would ever be. You're gonna sit up with him 24 seven while he was sick, recovering from the hospital that he was born at. Okay, I, went, I didn't give birth to him, but. <laughs> That's part of but being well, a mommy. At least there's one thing she's him. not claiming to have done for him, right? <laughs> What is that a picture of? This is a picture of all three of our kids. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I had my doubts is because Junior don't look like the other two, really. These two look like me. I'm sorry, all my babies look adorable. The baby the looks like you. The other two don't. Uh, first off, Bella, Junior, and Mackenzie all look like their dad. You've expressed to the court that you do have genuine doubt about at least one of your children. Yes. And you see this? This is a picture of my son and Brandon whenever they were babies. So that's Brandon the Sr. Same as a child. The and same then Brandon nose. Jr. They have the same hairline. They look hairline. nothing alike. They look mm -hmm. alike. No. Nope. They look alike. No. I'm sorry, but whenever the DNA test comes back, I'll show you. I'll okay. laugh at you. Because right. you all are fools for not claiming that little boy right there. I have claimed him. How really? Do you like yes, I'm not even here today. allowed. Then why are you here if you To find him? out if you're a liar. Do you feel like Miss Chandler uses your grandkids as pawns? Yes, ma'am. Just to get whatever she needs out of Brandon. Give me specifics. Um, well, I don't the think there's is... nothing I need that I don't already have. I got three beautiful kids, and they love me, and I don't care what you say. I know one thing you I need. I have never and it's used my shut kids up as a pawn for you. you. I have never. I have asked you to be there for my kids. You ain't and you asked me refused. nothing. Have you ever no. been there for you a Christmas? thing you asked? Have you ever been there you for any holiday? The only uh, thing you asked me was to stay the hell out of your life. No, my mom no. has Ladies, because we know what you are talking to. I can't him. understand any of you when all of you are talking. <laughs> now, Ms. Yes, ma'am. Is there anything in you know, I have a little boy, and I know how a mother loves, loves, loves their sons. Is there any of this that where you feel that maybe you've lost him and that's what really bothers you? Right, mainly, yeah. So you the closeness we had. You, you were close. We were all close. We've always been close. I've always looked out for my little brother. <laughs> Every girlfriend Brandon's ever had, I've always tried to be friends with them. I've always tried, you Being know, me. Being friends with it, talking Can to you me. please hold on a minute? You witch! Oh! Oh! What? Miss no. Chandler. Uh, have Sounds you familiar? Yourself? Yeah, troll. troll. Miss Chandler, Miss Chandler, I don't look like a give, troll. Give them a, a chance to speak. You know, everything from your position is that you're a real woman, and before you, he like he didn't even have a life. But I've got two women here that say they love him very much, and I need to hear from them. What was your relationship like? Very close. We we're very close. My kids were my life. I stayed at home until they were 16. Then I worked. Up till then, I'm, I'm sorry, but I want better things for my kids in life. I'm not going to stay here and live off of the state. But Miss Chandler, go you got to give her this. She raised the man you're I, with now. I got so you got to give her some credit. I understand that, but so give her credit her for that at least. least. I give you credit for that, but her problem is that I worked for my kids. Now, I want to get to uh, the defamation of character suit that you've brought as well, Ms. Chandler, against Ms. Jackson and Ms. Hillier, because you say that they're all around town. What comes uh, around goes around, dearie. I've never Whoa. said anything about you on Facebook. Really? No, but you have I said it to your face. Is it true 
that you've been around town basically telling everyone that Ms. Chandler's children are not your sons? Admit it. Come on. I don't. Right. You told me, Ms. Jackson, you, you told didn't my answer. son so that he was not saying it? his yep. child. I have. ain't said nothing me to him. Me and my kid. friends have. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Okay, Kathy, keep lying. While you were talking over me, Sorry. you missed the fact that I got the information you wanted confirmed. Ms. Jackson just said that she was around town talking about you yep. and saying that your kids were not by Mr. Hilliard. Mm -hmm. Y'all heard about it that. every day on Facebook. So what are your Don't damages? Home. They, their family has turned their back on my kids. No, you turned our backs no. on your kids. And no. it hurts me yeah. because I know who oh. I am. <laughs> and I wish that they knew the real me, but they never try to I even tried. get to know me. Gina, I go to your next? house to see the kids Hush, and get the police called on me. Anyway, really? <gasps> you, your husband called the police on you because I pushed you out my door. Oh. That's why. Now, anyway, was this sitting dream? there saying that you're my friend and telling me that, or telling people that my kids aren't Brandon and saying that I'm a whore, that's not a friend. I don't know what kind of friend you have. All right, but that's not a friend. Okay. I've heard enough. The court has two things to rule on: uh, the defamation of character suit and also the DNA results. Um, I'm going to start with the DNA results. Jerome, do you have the envelope? I do, Your Honor. Jerome, do you have the envelope? I do, Your Honor. Just wait when it comes out that my son's his. I'm going to laugh in your face. And if it comes back that he's Brandon's, I'll There's personally no apologize. There you go. I'll be the better be on your hands and knees. You want to shut up? Thank you, Mom. <laughs> In the case of Brandon Jr., Mr. Hilliard, your wait is over. You are the father. Thank you. <laughs> no apologize. Come I'm on. sorry. Come yes. on. No, apologize. You do, Kathy. That's your grandson that you've been denying for four years. That's your baby. Yeah. Now Deny I want more. to see my baby. I have never kept it from Don't you. Don't even try it. I have never. You know where I live. What do you feel? I love that little boy either way. And I am personally sorry for the hell I have put you both through. Come on. Come on. <laughs> for what? I apologize, but you ain't touching me. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Stop all the around here now. You know, <laughs> in light of these results, Ms. Chandler, Mr. Hilliard, I can give you the opportunity to just drop that suit. If they promise that we can be a family again, that's all I want. I'm fine with Ms. that. Ms. Hilliard, Ms. Jackson. That's all I care about. All right. With Me that too. said, the defamation of character suit is dismissed, and this court is adjourned. Take care. <laughs> Ms. Nichols, you've dragged the defendant, Mr. Young, to court today because you say he denies he's the father of your 13-month-old daughter, Sine. Yes, Your Honor. You say it's time for him to step up and take responsibility. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Young, you say you refuse to accept Sine because you claim that Ms. Nichols was already pregnant when you began your relationship. Y and you refuse to allow her to trap you with another man's baby. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Young, so why do you believe she's trying to pin a child on you? Well, she doesn't like the fact that I moved on and I have a new relationship and she's all about getting money out of me. She knows that I was treating her good. She's been lying since the first time I met her. Just 
making my life miserable. Have you been making his life miserable, Ms. Nichols? Uh, no, Your Honor, I have not. He started denying my daughter before his new relationship. He actually started denying her when I moved out of his house because he was cheating. Really? I've known Mr. Young for 19 years. We met when we were 15 years old. And when I met him again on Facebook, you know, we automatically moved in together, you know. That's a lie. We didn't automatically move in. She hit me up on Facebook, talking about because she'd been trying to find me and she just wouldn't want to see me. And so when she came over, she was still on the same thing she was when I first met her, trying to get back in the, in the bed with me, like, like always. Wow. So there was no instant connection, like she said, Mr. Young? I mean, no, there was no instant connection like that. I mean, I, I, um, I, Honor, I, was, I was getting I'm... out of a relationship and then she hit me up like, hey, I want to come over. I ain't seen you in a long time. Uh, can we hang out? So we hang out and then... Your Honor, I was, we started I was dating living again. with a roommate that was moving to Georgia and I didn't know where I was going to go. So Mr. I know, Young... I didn't know I shook it that could be a roommate. Mr. Young and his family member that he was living with at the time said, well, Tasha, come on and stay with us. From October 13th until October 15th, we lived together. One year. An entire year? An entire year. And during that time, you all were having a sexual relationship as well? Only that, yes. yes. You said only that? Yeah, because it was nothing more. That's all she wanted to do. Um, you know, there's plenty of statuses on my Facebook where us together, he even had a changed Facebook. his relationship status to where we were in a relationship. Really? Yes, ma'am. He told me he loved me the first night that I was there. That's, That's why I lie. never left. That's a lie. She, she didn't have nowhere to go because she was being evicted and the guy she was staring with at the time was a sugar daddy. I he was, was not, no, he was she not was telling my this sugar man, daddy and I was, was not telling being this evicted. Man, she I was telling this sugar daddy that man. apartment by myself. She was telling this man that and I was And I was not homeless because I have family I was, she members was telling that would not let me be out on the street. I, One at a time. She was telling this man that she was living with that I was her cousin. Yes, he I absolutely be bring, did. When he was bringing her over to my house, dropping her off, and she telling me that he's just a friend of the family, but couldn't find out. No, I did not. He was the not. man that she was sleeping with. No, you're not. Okay, honor. wait a minute. Who is man. this man? He's a friend of mine. Do you have sex with him? No, I do not. You sh oh, you don't have How sex with him? How old is he? 73. Whoa. 73. Whoa. And he calls him your sugar daddy. What does he do for you? any and everything I ask him to. Mm, right, exactly. <laughs> and, and your honor, since he wants to go there, he had no problem with this man when we were hungry, but, and I would call him and he would bring us something to eat. You know, anything I, I called and asked this man for, he would come. If I, if I needed a ride to work, because he couldn't take me. He couldn't provide me with no bus money or anything. Hold on, so you got a little sugar from the sugar daddy, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Scoop. Mr. Young, do you believe this sugar daddy is Sinead's father? Yes, is that what you're asserting yes, today in court? She's the same color as him and she looks like him. And so you asked the court to order a lie detector test to determine if Miss Nichols had slept with this particular man. And she told me he, she had, Your Honor. She told no, me that I she didn't. used to. She told me she used to sleep with him before. She cut it off. No, I didn't. That's what she told herself. Ain't no, because I told, I told her, ain't no man gonna be giving him. her no money without I, him not getting nothing in return. She said, I told "Oh well, that we he's just a friend of the contact, family." Never intercourse. Sexual contact. What was sexual never contact? Never intercourse. What's sexual contact? You don't contact? know the difference between sexual contact What's sexual and intercourse. Contact? That means you sleeping with him. And she also had another young fella before that that she was messing with before I got with her too. And his mama so told her that she it still was, messed with it him. Was, it was before you. And you were still messing with him till now. Him he still, was, he his was own mama said you still have a left him on. So unless they give conjugal visits without us being married, then that's the only reason that I could be sleeping with this man. So you He's believe that's up. why you're not Sinai's biological father because she was intimate with other people? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. But you told him, Ms. Nichols, you never had intercourse with... Yes. ...that, that man. That's and right. what about the other guy? Were you sleeping with him, too? No, I had broke up with that man two years before he came along. Well, she said she broke up in a relationship. Don't you, don't you mess around with people? She but I was, I was with broke them. up with him before I started messing with you, Sean. She was sleeping he with him. He was in Donna. jail. The in... man was in jail. Yeah, okay. I have not heard from this man. Well, I heard from him constantly on Facebook telling me not to be nothing you say because you're always sleeping around and you ain't never gonna stop messing with the sugar daddy. He himself told me that. And your but, family okay. members. Okay. His mama told me. Everybody okay. then told okay. me. Okay, well, y'all so much talking about my sugar daddy. I haven't, I haven't lied to either one of them about this man. Yes, you okay? did lie to. You lied to the sugar daddy about me and you lied to me Yeah, first. I, lied to, I lied to him about you, but I did not lie to Sean about him. So you, you said you lied to the sugar daddy about sh Mr. Young. Yes, right, I did. Because he didn't want him to get cut what off. What did you say? Stuff. I told him that he was my cousin. Yep. 
Oh, okay. Right. If there wasn't anything romantic going on, why he say... He would cut my funds off. See? About money. All about money. Well, she... Right. You... I mean, we asked her the question, she answered it. I mean, if it's the truth, it's the truth. And it's just like, he's sitting here trying to make me like I'm, like I'm just a, a, a whore or a thought or something, and I'm neither. When you got pregnant, Miss Nichols, you told him? He told me I was pregnant. Really? Uh, we were just sitting around, and he just kept looking at me, and I'm like, well, you know, what are you looking at? He was like, well, yeah, pregnant. I'm like, yeah, right. You know, I didn't believe I was pregnant. A couple days later, I went to the doctor, and I was pregnant. Did you believe it was your child then, Mr. Young? At first, I did, but then when I started looking at the dates when the baby was born, the dates don't add up. The, the baby was due in August. She had her at the end of May, so how can I be my baby? Um, hold on. Let me see if I can understand this. Miss Nichols... Do you remember the night you believe you conceived? I say around the middle of no November, around the 15th, give or take. And if you calculate this conception date, your due date would be approximately August 12th, 2015. That's, that was my exact due date. And when was Sine born? May 28th. Right. May 28th. She was 11 weeks early, Your Honor. Mr. Young, no. this leads you to believe this is not your biological child. It didn't, it didn't add, it just didn't really just add up to me. Because you, the baby, you, the baby you... was dark and, and it just, and she had like my, almost told, all my like kids I have a cleft. Him. Almost all my kids have a cleft and none of my kids are dark skinned. Like I told him, it's genes. She's getting older. She's starting to look like her sugar daddy. She's starting to look like the man. All right. I have administered a lie detector test, Mr. Young, because you believe Ms. Nichols is not telling you the truth. Yes, so she submitted to a lie detector test, and I have those results. Ron? Ma'am. Thank you. Ms. Nichols, you met with a licensed polygraph examiner. When we asked you if once you began a sexual relationship with Sean, did you have sexual intercourse with anyone else, you said... Yes. Yes. Wow. And the lie detector determined you were being truthful. Mr. Young, you seem surprised by that. No, I don't. I'm, just, I'm saying, wow, because I already knew that. I knew that she was messing around because I told you people had been he telling didn't me know. that. The guy, mother of the young person she was messing with told me and friends of her own family told me. Right? Now, when asked if you had sexual contact with the man you refer to as your sugar daddy, you said no. And the lie detector test determined you were being deceptive. We have had sexual contact before, never intercourse, and it was not while I was with Sean. So does this further fuel your doubt, Mr. Young? Oh, I'm on fire right now. <laughs> I'm on fire because I knew this. All I wanted her to do was tell oh, me the truth. okay. Has the man that Mr. Young refers to as the sugar daddy done anything for Sinai? He does everything for her. I wonder why. I can't call you... You know why you can't call me? Because you, you're constantly cussing me out, calling me B's and F's... Stop and some acting of my like guns one. Everything you could think of Stop underneath your like belt. One. I'm not gonna sit there and let nobody be disrespected. I don't disrespect you. You shouldn't disrespect me. If it's all about the child, when you call me, it should be about the baby. Keep it as that. Right, it me should be like no that. Me and you are no longer more. Why like should, well, then you need to stop texting match. me and telling me how much you miss me Woman, and please, how much, go there. How much you go wanna there marry me. Don't go there with me. Marry you. Yeah, I went there. I'm gonna marry you. I went there. Wait a minute now. I thought this was over and he had moved on. Uh, exactly. We, we did move That's on real, and he yeah. came back into our lives in the middle of May and we started having sex again. The last time was just three weeks ago. Oh. Girl, please. He was just at my house five days ago, but we didn't have sex because I had company. Mr. Young, are you still going over her house? No, I'm not going over her um, house, Your Honor. If I were going over her house, Your Honor, no, I have a text that. message from him. Uh, Ron, let me see that. This text message says, I would love to marry you if you could respect me and stop talking to me the way you do. If you did that, you would and could never lose me. The date is 6-13, June 13th at 2.28 p.m. This is a text from you. This woman right here has been known to change stuff around. How I did not can... see that right there. That don't mean nothing. 
I could have said that months ago or wherever. The date was is right on there. The so I don't believe nothing she said. Okay, so now let's get to it. So did you say this? Let's take away the date and the time. Did you say this? No, I did not. At some point? No. Go ahead and tell the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I did not write that to her on that date. No, I did not. Not on that date. I'm just asking, did you write this to her? Period. Do you remember those words? I write her on lots of stuff before. When we used to be together. When we used to be together. When we used to be together. I should send her all types of stuff. At my hotel. I'm sorry, Miss Nichols. He texted me last night and asked me, was I okay and what hotel I was at? (laughs) So, Mr. Young, when was the last time you were intimate with Miss Nichols? Months ago. Like three, four months ago. June 9th. Months and months ago. All right, I'd like to hear from your witness. Ma'am, please stand. State your name for the court. Laquita Strode. Miss Strode, you are Mr. Young's... Girlfriend. Girlfriend, new yes, girlfriend. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, do you believe Sine is his biological daughter? Actually, Your Honor, all of the family is stating, oh, that's not your baby, that's not your baby, but I'm the only one out of everybody that's giving her the benefit of the doubt and saying this may be your child. Why do you feel that way? Because to me, some of her features do resemble Sean. And if it's a chance that this this baby could be his, he needs to know. Mm -hmm. And just not listen to what everybody else can say because I'm not the one... I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm just trying to get the truth just like everybody else. She's asserted that he's still trying to have a romantic relationship with her. And if that's the uh, situation, he can have her. I will say this, Ms. Strode, because you speak so eloquently. But from what I witnessed today... Your boyfriend is still right along with it. Ex- you, that's why I said what I said. I mean, he is mm-hmm. right in the thick of it with Miss Nichols. They don't miss a beat. Absolutely. And when he Absolutely. talks about this sugar daddy, his body language, he just gets enraged. Absolutely. Your Honor, I'm not a bad person. I even offered for a... Uh, try to get a DNA test when the baby was first born. No, you didn't. Because they could have... They would have did it in the hospital and I would have been glad. She was upset because she had just had the baby and she, and she was all upset. Sean, like, you, you gonna, never mentioned that Are you going to put me through this when I... Well, then why did you sign the birth certificate? I don't recall signing a birth certificate, Your Honor. Boy, are you crazy? <laughs> His name is on there. Let me see if I have it in the court yes, file. Me, I'd like to see you. Hmm, look at there. I ain't, I ain't write that. Sine and Marie Young, father's name, Sean Dale Young Sr. That's you? That's me. They wouldn't put it on there if you didn't sign it. You, you hear the key word? They put it on there because she told them. I they would not put right your name on there if you did not sign it, Mr. I didn't Young. Miss Nichols. <laughs> so you say you didn't sign this birth certificate? I don't recall signing nothing, ma'am. And do you remember him participating in this part of the process, Miss Nichols? Yes, ma'am. Did he go to the hospital? Yes, he was there. That's him while she was still in the hospital. That's a beautiful picture. You don't look like you have doubt in that picture. Your Honor, her attitude and the way she treats me is it, it, it's, it's, it's bogus. That's why I want to make sure that I'm taking care of a child that's mine. I think he's a big coward that doesn't want any more responsibility. I'm just not going to take care of a kid that, that's not mine. Moving on. You all ready for these results? Yes, ma'am. All right. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Nichols versus Young, when it comes to 13-month-old Sine Young, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Young, you are her father. Surprise, surprise. Look right here. And I see tears in your eyes because what do you feel in this Because, moment? like, his dad wasn't in his life. So he should know that how I would feel, how his mom felt. Break the cycle. Now we know this is your biological daughter. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm... You I'm can't here. keep going on the way you're going. This little girl is gonna grow up with all of this negative energy surrounding her and fighting and arguing back and forth, and she doesn't deserve that. I want you all to start talking about and figuring out how you do this together. Ms. Greenhouse, you summoned Mr. Thompson to court for a DNA test for your seven-month-old son, G. Yes, Your Honor. You claim he has neglected his responsibilities as a father since you called off the wedding last month. Yes, Your Honor. 
Additionally, you are also suing Mr. Thompson for $750, the amount of the down payment you put on a vehicle for him. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, you claim Ms. Greenhouse confessed to having sexual intercourse with another man one week before you reconnected from a break. Yes, Your Honor. You say it's impossible that you are her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, your mother, Susan Thompson, is here as well and also questions the paternity of this child. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Greenhouse, first to you. You were going to marry him and then now he's denying your son. Yes, Explain. Your Honor. Oh, uh, well, I was gonna marry Gregory. We were dating for 11 years off and on. I have a four-year-old son by Gregory, and I also have a seven-month-old Gre by Gregory. I called off the wedding because Greg is he's insecure and he's uh, disrespectful, and I don't want to marry someone like that. After 11 years, you just figured that out? No, it's like, <laughs> no. We were together for 11 years off and on, but I had my four-year-old son. Right, uh, I went off to college. Right after I had my four-year-old son, I got pregnant, and we tried to make it work there. In between the four years that we, after my son was born, we tried off and on, and it still hasn't worked out, and I just finally got tired of it. Every time I turn around, is you messing with this person, you're sleeping with this person, but Greg dropped me off at work everywhere I go. He has my phone. He dropped me off and picked me up. So where is it time to cheat on you at? 11 years you've invested, and now you feel like G is not your child? Out of 11 years, eight of them, I was the one trying to keep this together when this always fell apart because How of her, are you always accusing me of sleeping of with her, somebody? Her, her family and all the rest. You're not in a relationship with my family. You're in a relationship now, with me. That's what I was trying to figure out. But why do they always come up? So how why do, do, they how do, come how up? do your mama... This one and the other sister. How everybody think up? they got more authority how, over me and mom? How? How? I separated from everybody. Hey, explain to me what's going on here. I'm not understanding. You're, you're saying her family caused is, the riff as well? We made G. We wasn't even together. I was how going over there back and forth. So you're admitting to my house. Now uh, that afterwards. You... When, uh... Hold on, Mr. Thompson. So you're saying when you made G, meaning... You are G's father, you believe? Or you... At the time, we... At the time, we conceived him. Or, or suppose we conceived him. She was still having sex with multiple partners. That's a at lie. The time. You asked me who it's did not, I have sex. It was never multiple partners. It's so not don't a ever lie. come at me like that. Uh, you it, asked me who did I have sex. It's not a lie. What I do? Two weeks what prior. I do? Then we had sex. I My had bad, sex mom. with somebody what I, else. What I do? I went through two your weeks phone. Prior. I went through your Facebook. Two weeks prior. Every it ain't two no weeks two prior. weeks. She testified two weeks before, and you're questioning that time frame. If so, how? Like I said, around that time, we wasn't together. We was seeing each other a little cordially here and there, but not really. But we I, guess, I guess it was maybe it was around... I don't remember uh, exactly the time it was around, but when I came and everything happened, even with leading up to that time, I had already confronted her, and she admitted out her own mouth, out of the, the pictures, the texts, the phones, the messages, what everything... Pictures? What everything, pictures? Everything I presented what to pictures? you... Everything what pictures? Everything I showed you... To me? We were a family. Everything, we wasn't a family. We Everything I showed her, she told me in a minute to on her own. Together. Okay. I cut off everybody to be in a relationship with you, so how's it a problem? Ma'am. That's a lie. Ma'am, the question okay. was asked to him. Mm. Mr. Mm -hmm. Thompson, you said you were the one trying to hold this family together. For out eight years, you eight, said. Eight out of the 11, every time. I brought this back together. And she used to say, then, you only, you only with me or you only try to keep this together because of SJ, which is my first boy. And, uh... That's a lie. That... That's a lie. Man, look here. Like, like so I said... We was only together because of SJ? This is what you told me most of the time. I told you, you don't that. really want to be with me, Greg. I told you, you only with me Greg, because of SJ. I told you, you that. And to a, major, to a major extent, yes, because of my son, the all-American way, your mom and your original mom and daddy and raising your kids together. If it don't work, it don't work. But I tried my longest and my hardest. Why do you go back to him over and over again. Because, Your Honor, I love Greg. I've been with Greg for 11 years. Greg was my first actual boyfriend. I, I planned on having a wedding with this man. I have two kids by this man. I planned on living my life with this man. When Greg talking about my family, when I was pregnant with my son, me and my family had an altercation fell off. I didn't talk to my family for months at a time. When I moved out of my sister's house and moved into our own apartment, I didn't once. have no communication with my you family. They once. shouldn't even be brought up in this. These are the main All ones right. who helped you draw your relationship to the ground. What do they got to do with it? You keep living in the past. I'm not living in... You are. I'm moving on, baby. I'm trying to figure out if, baby, if G is mine. Greg, and so you say her family has interfered. How? When we, in the, when we in the dirt and we struggling, we come up on a little here and there, 
She giving money to her, her mom, and everybody else. But we, when we in the dark, we my mama give me it. money. My we sister give me it. money. We don't have it. But then, you give your mama money, your sister or brother money. I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm here about the baby, man. Your Honor. Yes, Miss Thompson. Speak. Greg doesn't give me money. If anything, when they fall on hard times, I help y'all with rent. You have never called Greg and asked for twenty dollars into another uh, ho- a day to hold you over. No, nope. never. You, you know okay. what? You know what, Christy? Okay. If I have, okay. I've given him millions. I should have. Okay, and what's the problem with me giving my family? I should have. What's the problem with me giving my family? I'm not addressing your okay, family. Then. What I am okay, telling you, and what then I'm telling you, why you frown, is when, when, it, when, it, when it, it's all said done, I help them as much as I can with rent. You know, and lights car payments, whatever they need, whatever I can do to keep them a family together, I will do. I'm, I, I'm not up in all this. That's all to about you? the kids. It ain't even about all this riffraff. Get to the babies. What all right. Get to, to the babies. So this doubt that you have comes from the two-week before incident. You think this two-week uh, relationship was something that continued? Around that time, like I said, she was talking to multiple guys. And she's admitted. And then, like I said, from jump, not Before to go we had back, this, she like said... I told you I she had said a week. Intercourse with somebody else. Two hit weeks. The fan, two weeks. It was a wrap. No, two weeks. What do you I mean? When you, you say when everything hit the fan, it was a wrap, when, what do you when, mean? When we, when we start breaking up or, or, or problems start building and piling up, it, it, it wasn't much that we could do because I already got my doubts. What I'm trying to understand is if she admits to you that while we were off... I slept with someone, and then you decide to get back together. You, you know this, right? This is not a surprise to you that she was... She was... ...with she, this other person, but you're saying that's what makes you have doubt about G's paternity. Just everything around that time. And because around that time... Exactly. ...she was sleeping with someone else. But Multiple. if you had doubt, you should have brought that not seven months later when my son is seven months old. Don't bring doubt seven months later. This you is, signed his birth this certificate. Is not, this is... Matter of fact, Your Honor, when I... we was in the hospital, Greg no, asked we... me about his... Can I, can I pro- approach that? Yes. 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 Okay, well, can I go show you Come this? On. When yes, I was yes. giving birth to my show son in the me. hospital, Greg came to me and said, what name do you want? Do you want G-E-E-G-I-E or G-E-I? And I said, G-E-I, and that's my son name. My son is uh, G. Rakeem Thompson. Everything is extra with you. It's I not. Didn't do it's not. I one of them at the top. Okay, I told you, you didn't you do that at the hospital on the whiteboard. That's the way everybody else At the hospital stuff. with me and you, you didn't do that on the whiteboard. Like I said... On the whiteboard, you didn't do when that. When he came out, she know okay. I said something about him. He, he looked... Well, where is that the hospital when I gave birth to my son? my first boy. Okay. Yeah, and she know. She know this. This is not the first time and it came up when she contact when she contacted you. Your Honor, you. he said that my son. Let me some in the hospital, Mr. Thompson. When we was living did together. Did you help choose the name? I did it. Yeah, I I, I chose the name. Up. I Where came you, up with and it. you were at the hospital when G was born. I've been with her the it's whole just time she's pregnant. And you signed the birth certificate? Yes. I was, Be- I've been with her the whole speak? time that she before was pregnant. Before we signed the birth certificate, I asked him, did he want a DNA test? He told me no. You're saying you did, in fact. Help choose the name. I, I did the whole... Ms. Greenhouse has suggested she asked you about a DNA test and you declined. I said something about it and she said, they said they don't, they're not gonna do that That's here. That's a lie. That's, That's that what sounds she told stupid. me. They don't do DNA tests at a hospital. And so, Ms. Greenhouse, you said you have a witness that can testify that, in fact, he did deny wanting a DNA yes, test. Yes, Your Honor. Please stand, ma'am. Hi, Step up to the morning. podium. My name is Shantae Gunnels. I'm Kristen Greenhouse's youngest sister. I'm only here because I was there during the time that Chrissy and Greg rekindled their relationship. You're saying you were there and you overheard something as it related to Mr. Thompson not wanting to have a DNA test? Yes, ma'am. What did you hear? When it came up to them going to the hospital to have G, Chrissy was talking to Greg or whatever. She was like, hey, make sure... Be, right before they, they brought in the paperwork, they the off Davis stuff. She was like, are you sure you want to do that? We can get a DNA test. Greg said, man, shut up. Like, he was excited. He was like, man, shut up. For what? That's exactly what he said. And you heard that. I was on the phone with her. All right. Thank you so much for your testimony. You may be seated. Mr. Thompson, what other doubt do you have? When I got my four-year-old son back not too long ago, he going out of nowhere, out of nowhere, y'all, and he tell me, but that ain't my daddy. But you got a whole girlfriend, but, but, so what am I doing now? But that ain't my daddy. I said, what you talking about? I said, who, your, your mom's boyfriend? He said, yeah. What you mean is you felt like he was saying it's G's yeah, daddy, but it's not time, my daddy. It might be G daddy, but you my daddy, <laughs> is what he telling me. 
So I called her. I just summed it up. You shut up. Said, Mr. Thompson, let's be respectful to ladies. No, nah, see, that's his problem. He's disrespectful. Ma'am, 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 I'm gonna escort you out of the courtroom if you open your mouth one more time before you're addressed. You understand me? Yeah. Thank you. You stay there and please be quiet. So since G has been born, what has Mr. Thompson done for your son. When we were together, financially mm -hmm. together, he will, together, we put our money together and buy diapers and whites, but as far as clothes or anything, Greg hasn't bought G anything. We're not together, because when we're not together, she got this high power, want to sit on the high horse and think she gonna run me or, or make me do something. A baby needs like, formula, a baby like, needs diapers. Just he don't like move on your time. On he don't move on your time. I don't. do the world. Okay, I you give don't. him the world. You they don't. know that. Anybody don't. know that. Did it for her kids, did it for her sister, son. Don't lie. Don't sit here and lie either. All right. Because I done fed you. Just, all right. And she done fed you. Sure. She ain't fed me. All all right. You leave it her house. I done fed all y'all. Okay, you had love. Ladies, 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 ladies. Miss Thompson, I'd like to hear your testimony, but can we just yeah. talk one at a time? Yeah. Why does this doubt exist? Did your son speak to you? Do you have a I level of a doubt of your own? G does look exactly like Chrissy. He does. And SJ. This boy has an extra large head. His daddy do, his brothers do. He don't have it. And that might sound a little crazy, a little harsh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just being honest. As far as him yeah, not taking care of his child, Greg is a darn good dad. Stand he he up, really God. be quiet. He really is. <laughs> he really is, Your Honor. And she's a good mother. Don't get me wrong. But when they get into this little squabble, he's yours. He ain't yours. I don't have time for all that. I'm morally concerned about the child. All right. Um, <laughs> Miss Greenhouse, you have a suit. You're asking the court to award you $750 because you say you made a down payment on a car for Mr. Thompson. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Did you bring uh, any receipts... Yes, Your Honor. ...that would validate that claim? Yes, Let Your Let me Honor. see that, please. <sighs> so this is a receipt for a deposit on a Chevy Impala 2008 for $750. Yes, ma'am. You're saying you put this down payment down on a car for him. our family. No, not for Greg, for our family at the time. You believe there was an agreement that he would pay you back? Yes, because... Do you have evidence of that agreement that real. he no, would pay you back? No, ma'am. Mr. Thompson, did you agree that you were gonna pay her back the $750? She, she never paid me no... She never gave me $750. She didn't go in there and do it. I did it. You're saying you paid the $750? Yes, Your Honor. And you're saying you paid the I paid it with my, my income tax return, yes, ma'am. Without any proof as to where that money came from, I can't award you $750 because there's no proof. You said, you testified just a moment ago that the car wasn't for him, the car was for your family. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I have to deny your claim judgment for the defendant, mm -hmm. all right? Let's move forward. So regardless of what the results are today, you all still have to figure out a way to interact and get along respectfully. Your Honor, I really wish I could. My four-year-old boy, I keep him and I do the world for him. But I call and, you uh, to ask and, you uh, to talk uh, to my son and you, you disrespectful. She gotta shut up. No. When I call, uh, Mr. when I call, Mr. Thompson, talk to my son, Mr. it's a problem. Thompson, the way you're speaking to women is disturbing me. Yes. All Hello, of it is disturbing me. You have a mother, a strong mother. You would never want anyone to tell her to shut and up. You talk to her like that. Well, no. you do. I talk to you like You do. Yes. We ain't here for me. Okay, right. I can take That's care of me. That's the truth, right. Trust me. That's fine. Trust so, me. You ain't gotta take care of mine. You know that. And you, you I take care of mine. You know it too. Okay, okay I'm just saying. Damn, I'm just saying. Damn, when can I speak, Your Honor, please? You already had your chance. You shouldn't have been here speaking at all. These poor children. Mm -hmm. they, they, how, they, exactly. How can exactly. you grow up like this? Exactly. Exactly. You all are I zero to one million. I mean, just this popping way. off. Would you like the results? Yes. yes. I have them. Yes. Yes. Shut them up. Shut them up. In the case of Greenhouse versus Thompson, when it comes to seven-month-old G. Thompson, it has been determined by this court Mr. Thompson, you are the father. <laughs> you are the father. 
I feel more relief. For what? And you than, knew this had, from jump. No, I did. I you did. knew this from jump. You knew I had died from jump. Everyone she has entitled to their beliefs or doubt, but my whole thing is like, don't doubt my son when I break up with you because you're disrespectful. I told That's you I this when we was together. No, you did not. I you told you, you, didn't, you didn't start dying. He didn't have my head. My he was my way. He was way my sir, first son. Sir, sir. Kids don't always look the same. Kids don't. some order. And this is what I got to deal with. some order. Just be quiet. Y'all can't do this. You all said you've been together for almost 11 years on and off. Pain. Now you've made two children and brought two children into this world? It's like they're in a horror movie. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is a nightmare for a child. For whatever y'all don't like about one another, you keep ending up in the bed together making babies. So you can open your legs but not shut your mouth. <laughs> here today for these children. Mr. Allen, you say Ms. Diaz has been desperately trying to pin her son on you for the last year and a half, and you want it to stop. You say that barring the invention of a teleportation machine, it would have been impossible for you to have fathered her child, Jordan. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Diaz, you say Mr. Allen is a delusional man-child with a fuzzy memory who refuses to accept responsibility for his own son. You say Mr. Allen is your child's father, and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So, Mr. Allen, why is it impossible for you to have fathered Jordan? Well, I wasn't even in the same state as her at that time. I was, uh, I was in Tennessee, and she was in Indiana. And at that time, she was in a relationship with another guy, and I was in a relationship with another female. So, at that time, we weren't even in the same state. So, it really doesn't add up. I mean, you don't have to be a genius to, in to know that that does not add up. He said he wasn't in the same state, Ms. Diaz. That's a lie. We had Easter together at my house. That's a lie. He's... And you believe that's the window of time when you conceived? Yeah, um, that's what the doctor said. A, a week before or a week after Easter, and Easter's in April. If you do the math, so, nine months later... And you're, you don't remember this Easter day? No, ma'am, because, uh, well, you see, at the time, I mean, at the time, I was with another female, and her friend wanted us to go and have Easter dinner with, with her and her family. This was in Tennessee. Oh, so you saying you remember the plans you had in Tennessee for Easter? Yes, ma'am. So people asked you to come over, then you said, nah, I'm not gonna go, but you know you were in Tennessee. Right, yes, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> so what was the nature of your relationship? Our relationship's always been rocky. Uh, we first started dating in 2016, and in Evansville. And she was originally just supposed to be a, a hookup, but we ended up talking and we ended up hitting it off. And she moved in with me not, not too soon after talking and being together. We were good for the first maybe three, four months of our relationship. And then after that, it was, it was always fighting and bickering. It was a whole lot of back and forth. So a lot of back and forth, a lot of on and off. Yes, ma'am. We moved to Tennessee and that's whenever it got Worse. It, it wasn't really a good relationship. So at some point you break up. When did the breakup happen? When did you decide it was over? Over, over, it was May of 2017. And by then I was pregnant. I did not know about it. I found out I was pregnant September. I'd be about four months. When you confided in him and you told him I'm pregnant, what was his response? That's not mine. That can't be. Da 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 da. And I was like, well, it, I, I didn't just make him myself. If you do them four, four months later, if you do the math, if you're good at math, it leads to April. We were together April, which is Easter. And so, Mr. Allen, how is it you said this wasn't your child? Why did you think it wasn't your child? Let's backtrack a little bit. Okay. Um, she said the conception date was around Easter. Well, a month before Easter was the last time that we had done anything. And I told her, you know, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to argue with you. Pack your stuff and leave. You know, get out. I'm not doing this again. Well, I had all my ducks in a row. I was doing good. Had a good paying job. And she takes me out of nowhere, and she's like, hey, I'm pregnant. And my response to her was, good for you. Congratulations. You know, like, what does that have to do with me? And she goes, oh. And she goes, well, you're the father. And I was like, no, I'm not, you know? Uh, you know, what makes me the father? Prove it. And so she started sending me 
So you know, wait, this was during a time when you were broken up. Right. You were living in another state again. Yes, ma'am. You felt so far removed from this relationship, you responded to her, congrats to you. Right. So, <laughs> Ms. Diaz, during this time, were you dating anybody else? Not really. I mean, it was... Not really? No, I, I was going to school, and I mean, it would happen maybe once or twice, but it wasn't like I would do something with somebody, like, consecutively. It was a one-or-time thing if I did. Was one-time thing, meaning sex, a one-time thing? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that's all it takes. I know, but... Around... How many... How many people did you sleep with during the breakup? One time, but during the breakup, I was already pregnant with Jordan. She was sleeping with two other guys at the time, Your Honor. Uh, multiple... How did you find that out? Multiple... Right, my friends don't talk to Multiple you. best friends of hers told me that she was with at least two guys, and that's the two that I know of. And she texted me, actually, herself about this one guy she was hooking up with. And, you know... What did I, she say? She would say, well, I'm with another guy now. You know, don't, you don't have to keep texting me and making sure that I'm okay. And, you know, so from that point on, I was like, all right, well, you know, whatever. But, like I said, I was still text her, but... But I, why? To make sure, to just check. Why, if we're broken up? Because it was... The right thing to do, no. Because right. if if because if you want to check in just on me, then why why don't you check in the whole pregnancy when I when I was pregnant? All right, because uh, it, it none of it added up. Whenever I told her to prove that you told her prove that I'm the father. Right, and she would send me pictures of the ultrasound, and uh, she would send me pictures of the the doctor's appointments and all that, and update me on it. And I would say the dates of conception that did not add up to whenever me and me and Miss Diaz were last together, like. Together, together. There was this one point where, you know, I actually called her and this other dude told me, he said, uh, he said, hey, stop calling, she's with me now. And I was like, well, you know, I don't, I don't really care if she's with you now, like, I'm still gonna call in and check on her. And I told her, you know, it, it doesn't matter if she's with you now. I said, I could call her, text her right now, and I can almost 100% guarantee that she will come back to me if I ask for it and I really want it. All right, so... I want to know from you, Ms. Diaz, did you ever tell any other guy you were pregnant? You told Mr. Allen, but did you tell anybody else? No. I don't, I don't talk to anybody. But yet it took her four months to text me and say that I was absolutely the father. So if she knew I was the father, why would she wait that long? Let's ask her. <laughs> because, Let's ask her. Because that's a lie. I found out four months pregnant, and I have the pictures to prove it. I don't have them with me. I didn't know he'd bring that up. It's not that deep. I mean, I, it is, but to a point, it's, it's like, I found out four months. And, and if, how if I... soon after you found out did you tell him? The day after. So, Mr. Allen, do you believe Ms. Diaz told somebody else she was pregnant, too? I mean, it shouldn't have took her that long if she didn't. Ah, so you think the wait was that she went and told somebody else? I feel like she went to the other guys, and since they didn't want anything to have with her being pregnant or care that she was pregnant, she came to me knowing that I would care for her like I always have in the past. But did you hear anything? Did one of the guys call you? Like, how do you know that? You don't know right. that. Well, at the time of that we were broken up and the time of conception, she was in a relationship with another guy. Okay. Because I was in a relationship in Tennessee with another female, and at that time, she t even told me that she was in a relationship with another guy. You know, I haven't seen her so long before or after Easter, so, you know, what exactly makes me the father? All right, so, Ms. Diaz, you have determined your conception time was during Easter. That's when you conceived. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You both agree that is true. Right. But you say you were not in town during that Easter. Yes, ma'am. You brought a witness I'd like to hear from. Sir, will you please stand? Step over to the podium. State your name for the court. Austin Griffin, Matthew Allen's cousin. All right, you are Mr. Allen's cousin. Yes, ma'am. All right, so what do you know about this situation? I know that Matthew was with me during the time of conception because, like he said, we were dating two other females. They invited us to have Easter dinner with their family. We said we declined, of course. We went with my family. But that's how I know. He wasn't around there. Because he Not was possible. with you. He was with me. And how can you be so certain that was Easter? Because you don't have Easter dinner any other day. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. What'd y'all eat? 
Yeah, that was a lot of stuff. Um, hamburgers, hot dogs. <laughs> that ain't Easter dinner. <laughs> it's what we ate. Miss Diaz, I... Mr. Allen brought a witness to say he was with him and he wasn't in the state during Easter. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you got the dates right? Yes, yes, ma'am. What did you eat for Easter dinner? <laughs> Potato salad, deviled eggs, I think a turkey. Now, that's more like Easter dinner. Yeah, yeah and it, we bought the turkey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said he and him bought it. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. This is bizarre, isn't it, Jerome? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two different stories. She said they went and got the turkey and everything together. Okay. <laughs> but Mr. Allen and his cousin, they said they were together on Easter, but they eating the food from 4th of July. Hamburgers <laughs> and hot dogs. We must have been turkey shopping on FaceTime because I wasn't there with her. This is a mystery. <laughs> look, look at that baby. That's it, look. He doesn't look like me and I'm the mom. He wasn't around there. Cause he Not was possible. with you. He was with me. Well, I know in this courtroom we don't go on looks, but when I look at that baby, he looked more like you than he does Mr. <laughs> Allen. <laughs> no. Little hair, little hair swoosh over to the side. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Lord, now, Mr. Griffin, are you sure you testified completely in this courtroom? I also wasn't around her during the time. Uh, you said I wasn't there either. I was there either. Oh, boy. Sometimes you just gotta laugh. <laughs> so you are his witness to verify he wasn't even in the state. Yes, ma'am. All right. So now, Jordan is 14 months. Mm-hmm. He's so handsome, those cheeks. <laughs> What's your relationship like with him, Mr. Allen? I have a, a fatherly relationship with him because, I mean, I've been with him for so long, you know? I mean, it's not like I, I don't have a choice, but... Because you all back together now. Right, yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. I've treated him like my own, you know, because, I mean, he does need a father figure, and if nobody else is gonna step up, he does need a father figure to, you know, be there for him and make sure that he has what he needs and, and all that. and. I mean, it's not like she can, you know, just take care of him by herself and... But you with, don't with take her, with care her limited of him. resources, but... But you don't take care of him. You... You will play with him all day, I give you that. You will play with him, you'll throw him in the air, but when it comes to... to change his diapers, to change his bottles, clean his bottles, bathe him, I do that. You'll yeah. get the towel for the bath and pick him up, then put him in his outfit and that's about it. And then you go back to playing your game or playing around with Austin. You wouldn't know because you'd be sleeping all day, huh? Mr. Allen, I want to ask you this. So, you are involved in Jordan's life. When you're holding him and playing with him and you look at him, do you feel like you are his father or you are his father figure? Well, I, I feel like, you know, I mean, I can, I can still give him love. I still have love for him, you know? And, I mean, like I said, I treat him like my own. I mean, he, he calls me, he calls me dad and, you know, he, he notices me when I come in. I mean, obviously. But, I mean, it's the fact of not knowing is what, you know, keeps me from taking that last step into, you know, being a, a father father for him. Were you raised by your biological father? No, ma'am. Do you have a relationship with him? No, ma'am. Do you even know who he is? No, ma'am. So is that why you've stepped up? You yes, really want to break this cycle? Yes, my stepdad stepped up to me, so I figured, you know, you know, if he can be that kind of man, that's the kind of man that he raised me to be, you know? That's wonderful. <laughs> and you know what it's like to grow up without your biological father. Yes, ma'am. Miss Diaz, I need to ask you if... Mr. Allen is not Jordan's biological father. Do you know where to find the other man? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. You do? Yes, ma'am. You know where he is? Yes, ma'am. All right, so the stakes are very high today. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the result. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Allen versus Diaz, when it comes to one-year-old Jordan Diaz, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Allen, you are 
the father. You are the father. That is your handsome little boy. He definitely got more of your cousin's jeans. (laughs) But he's yours. I'm just kidding. Congratulations, Mr. Allen. I see the tears in your eyes. It means something to you to be a father. Yes, ma'am. Is this your first child? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I know it's important to you because of what you went through, not knowing your biological father. Do you know how incredible it is on this day that you had the courage to break a generational curse? That everything you went through, now Jordan does not have to go through. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be better from here on out for, for all three of us. How does that sound to hear, Ms. Diaz? It sounds nice. It does. I've waited for like a year and a half for this. So it's like a pat on the back in like about time. Well, when you've gone through what Mr. Allen has gone through, and he's been very honest with his testimony about mm-hmm. not having his own father, fatherhood is a very important issue to him. Mm-hmm. 